Today we're going to be taking a look at the best gooseneck hitches available for the 2014 Chevrolet Silverado 1500. Let's take a look through the three hitches that we've got picked out. We've got our Kurt double lock, we've got the B&W turnover ball, and we're also going to have the draw tight hide a goose. Now all three of these hitches are under bed mount. This is the ideal solution for goosenecks rather than the old ball that always stuck up in the middle of the bed. These allow us full access to use our truck bed as we'd want to. We can simply flip that ball over, turn it up into the usable position when we're ready to haul our trailer. Now all three of the hitches are going to have custom brackets. These are going to mount right to the frame with no frame modifications necessary. We don't have to weld, we don't have to drill, and we don't have to cut. Now, of course, we have to provide area for the safety chain connection points to come through and for our balls to come through, so we'll have to cut holes in our bed. The draw tight has the smallest hole. It's at three and a half inches, where the B&W and the Kurt, those are gonna be four inches. And then, of course, both the custom brackets for installation are crossbars on all the kits and the heads fully powder coated, heavy duty steel. So these are gonna hold up to the work and the loads that are typically required from gooseneck hitches. Now all the underbed goosenecks here can be converted over to use with a fifth wheel trailer. If you're regularly gonna be hauling a fifth wheel trailer, I would recommend getting fifth wheel head and getting fifth wheel rails put in. But if you have that occasional use situation, this can be a great solution to have the gooseneck readily available, but also be able to haul that fifth wheel trailer. Now another similarity that we have in our hitches is the customer reviews. Everybody that, that's left a review on the site seems to be very impressed with the hitch, whether they decided to get the draw tight, the B&W, or the Kurt. So it's good to know that all of them are going to do a great job for us. Now that being said, let's take a look at the minor differences our hitches have that might help you decide which one's going to be right for you. Now of course these are built to take care of our hauling needs, but they are going to be mounted on your truck and you will have visibility on your side plates and the ball coming out. So let's talk a little bit about aesthetics really quickly. With the draw tight, you'll see we've got the gloss black finish on it, and we've got a chrome plated ball. The BMW, it's gonna have the gray powder coat finish, and the ball here, it's zinc coated. The Kurt, it's got a matte finish. It's gonna be a little bit more dull than what our draw tight is, and it's also gonna have the chrome ball. Now all of our hitches also are going to offer the same weight capacity. On each of them we've got a vertical load limit of 7,500 pounds. So that's the maximum downward force that we can place on the ball. And we're going to have a gross trailer weight rating of 30,000 pounds. That's going to be the total weight of our trailer and anything we have loaded up on it. Of course we do need to look into the owner's manual on our Silverado though. We need to see what it's rated for. We're going to use whichever of those numbers are the lowest. Now to go along with the aesthetics, the Kurt does have a nice finish chrome ring that's going to fit around the side. That's what you'll actually see coming up through the bed of your truck. Whereas the BMW, it's going to have more of just a basic gray powder coat finish. And then the Heide Goose here from Draw Tight, it has the smallest hole that you'll be drilling in the bed with the black powder coat finish. Now we'll go over a few of the differences and kind of the usable features. You'll see our safety chain connection points here on the Kurt. It can be about average sized and there's enough room where those are going to come up and be able to connect just about any type of safety chain you'd want. The BMW, it's going to be about the same size as the Kurt, maybe just a little bit smaller. It's going to come up about the same amount there. Again, should allow you to connect whatever size chain you want. And our draw tight, it's going to have a slight advantage. It's going to come up just as far as what the other ones do. However, it is a little bit larger. It's going to give us a little bit more space in there to more easily connect those chains. Another usability difference is going to be in the handle, both in the way they work and the size. The draw tight's going to have the longest length, so it's going to be a little bit easier to hold. And to disengage the pin, we pull out, slide that towards the rear of the truck, and that's going to hold that open, allowing us to pull our ball out. Now the draw tight's going to offer the round base. You can see the alignment tab, that's going to help keep it from rotating. As we put it in position, drop that in fully, and then we just release our lever by bringing it to the middle position there. As you can see, the pin's going to go through and firmly secure our ball for us. See a little bit of play left and right and up and down there, which is pretty common across the board. 
You'll see our ball is held in place with a single pin. This is going to be five eighths of an inch in diameter. You see how that's going to come through, engages both sides of the head to give us a nice secure connection. You'll notice the handle on the BMW. It's going to be a little bit smaller. This has a tab that slides in a slot, so we'll bring that out. You rotate that clockwise, that's going to lock it in the open position. Again, allows us to easily remove our ball. Now this ball is going to have holes on all four sides. It can be put in any direction, and you're going to see that this is a square shank. The reasoning behind that is that that's going to help prevent that ball from turning or moving. And I do feel like this offers a little bit more of a snug fit than what we have on our draw type and maybe not quite as secure as our Kurt. Now to release that, simply grab our handle. We're going to rotate this now counterclockwise. That's going to allow that pin to slide in and secure our ball in place. Now the BNW, you'll see it is going to use a single pin. You see that come through. That's going to be 5 eighths of an inch in diameter as well and again secures on both this side and that side for a great solid connection point. Now the Kurtz handle is about medium length. It's going to be right in between the draw tight and the BMW. This is going to work just like the BMW. We're going to pull out, rotate clockwise, that's going to lock that open and that's going to allow us to take out our ball. Something you'll notice here is we're going to have dual pins so we have two 5 8 inch pins that come through. you see the groove on the side. It's only going to be one way that this is able to slide in place. Here you can see the dual pins come through. And they also pass all the way through. So they're going to engage both sides of that head, giving us a great holding power. And we can slide that back in, re-engage our pin. You'll see with that ball, not as much movement as what we had on the other two. Now you can see all the balls in the stored position. Once you pull your handle out, you're able to flip those around as you'd like. See the draw tight? They've got a nice magnetic cover here. It's going to block the top of that hole, just prevent any moisture or dirt from getting down in there. And you'll see the small crossbar there that allows you to get your finger underneath it and get that pulled out, whether you want it in the usable or stored position. Now, BMW does not have a cover that's going to come with the hitch. But they allow for a corners only fit, so they allow for any of that dirt or that grime that might find its way on there to kind of fall down through. And again, we've got our small handle there. It's going to help get a hold of it so we can get this rotated around, whether we want it in the usable or stored position. Now you see on the Kurt Double Lock, we're going to have a really nice rubber cover. It's designed to fit snugly down inside of there and, of course, protect from the dirt, debris, things like that. We're going to have a little bit larger handle. It's a little bit wider. So again, either in the upright position there or stored, it'll be pretty nice to use. And I like that handle most of all of them. And I think the cover here is going to be the most durable. Now let's go over a few key points to kind of help summarize, help with that decision making process. Uh, when it comes to ease of installation, I like the Kurt for that. I think the way it's designed is just a little bit better. Both bars are threaded. Um, the draw tight would be a very close second and then we'll follow that up with the BMW. And really the BMW isn't that difficult to install. Again, minor differences. It's just on this one you'll have to have a wrench and your torque wrench in there where you won't have to with both of these. When it comes to ease of use, because of the draw tight, safety chain connection points are slightly larger and the handle's a little bit longer, we'll have to give it to that one, but again, very, very minor differences here. Now when it comes down to looks, I think the Kurt probably is going to be the nicest looking one in the bed of the truck anyway. We've got that nice rubber cap that's going to go over, keep it protected, and when that's not in place, we've got the chrome ring, but you might disagree with me. Now, when it comes down to the overall craftsmanship of the hitch, they all look nice, they're all very sturdy, and they're all going to do the job, but when you get them in your hand, you feel each one. The BMW, made in the USA, American steel, 
It definitely has just a little bit better fit and finish on it. The holes don't have any over slag or don't have any burrs or anything like that. So craftsmanship, we give that to the BMW. And that's gonna complete our look at the best gooseneck hitches available for the Chevrolet Silverado. We hope you find that information helpful in selecting which is gonna be the right gooseneck hitch for you. Click the link below to shop, learn more, or visit us at eTrailer.com.